Meditations for Every Day in Lent Monday after the fourth Sunday in Lent Jesus before Herod The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 23, verses 7 to 12 And when he understood that he was of Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him away to Herod, who was also himself at Jerusalem in those days. And Herod, seeing Jesus, was very glad, for he was desirous of a long time to see him, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to see some sign wrought by him. And he questioned him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and the scribes stood by earnestly accusing him. And Herod with his armies set him at naught and mocked him, putting on him a white garment and sent him back to Pilate. And Herod and Pilate were made friends that same day, for before they were enemies to one another. A Meditation on the Sacred Passion of Jesus Christ by Richard F. Clarke of the Society of Jesus Firstly, when Pilate found that the Jews were determined on the death of Jesus, he tried to get rid of the responsibility by sending him to Herod. Herod rejoiced to see him. In his vanity, he expected that our Lord would be glad to conciliate him by performing some miracle in his presence. Vain expectation. It is only for the humble and pure of heart that our Lord works miracles. Yet I expect him to work for me, proud and selfish as I am, miracles of grace, to enable me to easily overcome long-rooted faults, to attain a spirit of prayer and close union with him. How can I hope for this while I am so full of the worldly spirit of Herod? Secondly, Our Lord was ready enough to speak to Pilate, and even to Caiaphas, but for Herod, he had not a word. There is something terrible in this silence, in the presence of the sensual, hardened reprobate. There is something in a sensual life that shuts the ears of men, so that the whispers of grace never seem to reach them. If I want our Lord to speak to me, The first thing is to see that I do not indulge my body inordinately. Thirdly, Herod was also the incarnation of self-satisfied worldliness. He was munificent, popular, successful, but he was hateful in God's sight and rejected by him, so that our Lord showed an aversion to him that he showed to none else. What a lesson for us, the reprobate Herod surrounded by flatterers and admirers, the eternal wisdom of God, dressed in a fool's dress and treated as an idiot. A prayer of St. Mechtilda, of praise to Jesus despised in his passion. O Jesus, most glorious in thy magnificence, I praise and bless thine incomprehensible omnipotence, thus weak and helpless for us in thy passion. I adore and glorify in thine unsearchable wisdom, thus accounted foolishness for us. I praise and magnify thine unutterable love, which did submit to be hated for all men and for the sake of thine elect. I praise and extol thy meek and gentle mercy, sentenced to so fearful death for us men. I praise and adore thy ravishing sweetness, embittered for us by thy most bitter death. Amen.